चंद्रा तुम्हारा ऑक्सीजन रुपया भी दे दो बाद में बोलो हाँ लगा के रखो ऑडियो ऑडियो लगा के रखा चलो लगा के रखो ऑडियो हाँ मैंने कहा हेलो हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम थैंक यू सो मच फॉर कमिंग माय नेम इज़ अपूर्वा एंड आई वर्क फॉर पुमा वो सुपर एक्साइटेड टू हैव यू ऑल हियर टुडे our uh, first experiential store in Mumbai and the biggest in the west of India. Um, I think we're all super pumped to have the Karina Kapoor Khan and the Abhishek Gang, who is our managing director of Puma India and Southeast Asia. Um, we're going to have a quick Q&A uh, for all you guys. And Abhishek, over to you. Hi, welcome, Hi. Sir. welcome to Puma and uh, our first, we call it the experiential store. Um, super excited to do it very close to your home. Yeah, exactly. I think like less than five minutes it's taken me to come. Yeah. So you've been okay. associated with us for now what two two and a half years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How has it been for you? I think it's been a wonderful experience. Uh, Puma has actually changed uh, a lot of things for me in the way I've looked at you know in terms of branding and everything because Puma is actually the reason I even came on Instagram. It introduced me to my fans through the digital medium. And uh, earlier I was very apprehensive as you all know. And then finally, obviously, when Puma and us had this conversation. Uh, so it kind of opened a lot of avenues. It opened uh, um, this engagement between you know, uh, branding and fans. So in, in that sense, I think it's got me closer to um, a lot of people who give me so much love and affection. Like every time my Instagram goes crazy, when the new Puma campaign launches and everyone sends me messages, oh my god, this is amazing and like, can I have this, can I have that look, can I have this look? So I think it's, it's it, th that kind of love, I can actually feel it. So I'm just so happy to be part of this super cool family and thank you so much. Do you have a lot of sneakers? Are you a sneaker head now? <laughs> I mean, I love sneakers because I'm a mother, I'm a parent, I'm constantly running around on my feet. I have two boys. If I don't have my Puma sneakers on, uh, I'm in for trouble. Which is your favorite, if you have any? Well, I think I love I love the ones that the new ones that have launched the Puma and Coca Cola collection. I think that is super cool. I've been wearing those off late, uh, living in those. But obviously, I have I'm the lucky one. I get every pair. I have more than 20 Puma shoes, um, and they're still not. <laughs> well, um, of course, you super fit and I'm sure you have a, a fitness regime and I see that it's a lot about yoga or what, what is it about? Um, yeah, I mean, like, I mean, yoga is like synonymous with me because I love, I mean, it's something that I've been doing, you know, for um, almost now 15, 16 years. It started with Tashram, the journey of yoga and it still continues after being a mother of two. It's something that is therapeutic, it's something that I love. Um, it's something that makes not only just, I think, what you feel good, I think it just, even when others watch you, that's why I put up a lot of videos and whenever we're doing a Puma shoot, it's mostly about yoga. Because when people see kind of me doing that also, 
I think I'm hoping that you know people also get inspired to you know put on their humor pants and get into you know a little bit of 30 minutes of yoga and exercise. I, I wanted to ask you this that you know today's sports is transcending the boundaries, right? It's from sports is going to towards the street to the airport to everything and becoming going towards fashion. How do you see that? Do you see that? And is it also a part of your styling today? Like, of course, we see that. But what's your view on sports becoming more towards fashion and athleisure? I think athleisure is huge globally now. I think most of the sport brands are, you know, making clothes that people uh, want to actually live in, as they say. You know, earlier it was like, okay, you know, you're playing a sport or you're, you know, going to play badminton or you're like, you know, um, going for a workout, get into your track pants or get into your those black tights and start your workout. But I think today, um, whether it's like a mother like me, it's like at 7.30 in the morning, I want to put on my clothes, I want to wear my track pants, I want to wear a cool jacket, go for a school run, at the same time as go, you know, do a little bit of yoga, go to my gym, go to shoot. You know, so automatically you want to feel like you're looking good as well as, you know, there's a little bit of sport as well as yoga and exercise involved. So athleisure actually, it's got a vibe that I can go to dinner with I can be there, you know, it's like a round the clock thing. I can just do everything, my school runs to have lunch with a friend and still look great. I think that's what the inspiration is. Yeah, being in the business of sportswear, I hope that fashion trend continues forever. Like, uh, you know, that's the best thing about it. But I that's think. the whole idea, no? otherwise why would you have me in Puma? It has to be slightly fashionable and it has to be like, you know, inspiration to the fact that everyone wants to get into these clothes and you know it, it's that because I want to like be like I want to look good and have lunch with my best friend you know in my cool puma attire you know I'm also like I love athleisure. No I think that's absolutely the reason to have you uh, because I, I firmly believe the sports is beyond just yeah. doing the sport and you really embody that and that's the reason that we signed you up. Uh, it's been a great relationship because you uh, whether it is keeping yourself fit that you've done this um, being a mother and then, then getting back to, to your fitness and doing yoga so so organically every time. Um, I think that's what the, the world is getting to. I hope that it stays as active as it is. Uh, this store, I hope you, uh, this is the first time I think you're coming here. You've been to the other store before. There is a personalization counter where you can just get your, uh, you know, the yes. design made the way you want to. It's pretty interactive. Um, uh, you know, the, we've given Women's uh, the pride of place here with the ground floor being on uh, and the men have to go up. So I hope you keep coming back here, Karina. Uh, it's been a fantastic journey with you. I really hope that this continues for uh, times to come. Uh, yes, thank you so much again. Thank for you being. for having me. And yeah, I think the store is absolutely stunning. I love the whole street art vibe that we have, which uh, I think everyone will love. And uh, of course, I'm just so happy that as you enter, you have the women's collection and let's get the men to work. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you Abhishek. Thank you Karina. Well, guys, that wraps up our media event. Um, there's food and bev right opposite the checkout counter and don't forget to collect your food goodie bags while uh, you're stepping up. But yeah, thank you so much everybody. Thank you.